Oh, that was a bit of a flurry of action there. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming, and let's play Shadowrun. There we go. Been a while, hasn't it? And I'm here at 2.30pm with a whiskey Mac by my side, that being a uh, glass of Jura, 10-year-old whiskey, uh, mixed with ginger beer. Because life is good sometimes. Little boy, I want more slap patches. Now let's remind ourselves where we were. I believe we had to hunt out Rat. And Rat is in some sewers in Zone 3. And I know there's only one place we haven't yet been in Zone 3. One area in Zone 3, rather, that we haven't been to. And, um... So as soon as I've also picked up some grenades, because that's going to be my next port of call. Hello, Kitsune. Been a while, hasn't it? Still a foxy lady by my side, and as uh, someone quite rightly points out, not quite my girlfriend when I have to pay for the privilege of keeping her. But let's be honest, what relationships don't we pay for in some small way? Well, that's the first time on that road with no snipers. Maybe we're getting more well liked in Seattle. I like the fact that they go for an old sort of wooden door mo motif. And in this 23rd century Seattle or whatever it is. And yet, they're still automatic doors. Alright. I'm laden with grenades, and what's more, now that I can cast spells, we'll put that as our automatic one. With that being done, let's get our assistance. Oh, okay. Ooh, looks like these snipers were just sleeping. Let's send them back that way. I don't know, that wasn't really an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice, it was just strange. Now you will sleep forever. People shooters could not make it to the party. And if we're about to go and face something monstrous, I think we should go and pick up another shadow runner, but not one of these because, quite frankly, they don't strike me as particularly interesting. We will pick one up in Zone 3 if we have the money to. And I'm not sure that we do. I'm going to pick one up from here. Okay. Not him. I think we've hired Orifice before. 300 new yen? Yes. Okay, so we're building our party. It's Armitage's 2. One day it'll be Armitage's 11. Hey, Orifice, you ever been to Zone 3? It's exotic. There's no room for orcs like you, though. Stand clear of the opening doors. And now Jake has his flashbacks this time, serving an XCOM on how terrible they were. Uh -huh. That's why he wears his Zaphod Beeblebrox glasses, in case of danger. How are we actually looking in terms of health, Kitsune? Now she's maxed out. And Orifice. He has his shotgun, so that sounds good to me. I wouldn't like that man to be my boss, the way he just shakes his head and exas in an exasperated fashion, just thrusts his hands out to the side. So this is where we have not been. So why does um, Orifice's shotgun fire with like an automatic when mine is pretty much still a pistol? Well, it's a shotgun with, that never needs to be reloaded. Onwards. Good God, it's a giant static rat. And it's pink. Let's kill it before it can actually even as much as become aware of our presence. That 
lets the shadow run away. And we'll shoot this one up the arse. Okay, let's take pole shots of this guy as well. Seems fair. Doesn't need to get anything in the way of karma or new year for killing. Did you shoot me, Arnifus? No, no, it's a rat nibbling my nuts. Kitsune, how are you doing? How's your health? Oh, you're, you're fine, of course you are. Sorry, my, my mistake, my mistake. I, I do tend to get a little overexcited. Oh! What's it doing? Flicking droppings at me. Alright, I know it'll come back this way. Yeah, they do a lot of damage, don't they? I don't mind just randomly shooting in the distance. I got three karma for that little trouncing. Actually, I don't want to cast my own spells in case Kitsune dies or suddenly leaves. She can cast the spells. She can heal herself first. Because I'm nice like that. There we go, she's up to maximum. And now she can heal me. And I think Orifice is probably alright, yeah, with his Weasley 40 health. And there's nothing else up here, is there? Nope. That's alright, I think Orifice will be a good ally in a pinch. He shoots fast, um, but that's the main thing. I know there's one up there. Oh, and it's flicking more droppings at me. Alright. You flick droppings at me, you die. Oh, there's more. How is everyone? Good God, she's weakening. Heal yourself, Kitsumi. Fast! And Orifice. Heal your Orifice. Our Orifice. We have a joint one. We share. And now, let's cast some kind of destructive spell at those bastards. Who we can no longer see on the screen. Excellent. Getting your allies to cast spells must be the most awkward ass thing I have ever witnessed in a game. Alright, I'm, I'm getting fed up with this now. As long as they actually take these things out. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, come into my line of sight, you piece of crap. Power ball! Excellent, this might hit both. There we are. Phew! How's their health? 36. Orifice, how is yours? 38. Ah, we're alright. Let's go up this route first. Might be something of note. Treasure chest? Oh god, more rats. Actually injuring him. Oh crap. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, if 
thank you for doing the killing for me. I don't like to dirty my hands with such things, you understand, don't you? And once again, nothing up here but bloody rats. Well, that was a successful waste of a couple of minutes, but we did get karma for it, didn't we? Let's hope the karma police don't come for us. <laughs> Oh, there's something going to come around the corner. There's another giant rat. There. Now, before we run away... How's everyone's health? Uh, 35 out of 50 and 33 out of 40. I think we can take on another rat. I'm going to let them get onto the screen one by one. There we go. I knew it would be able to resist. Now how? 29 out of 40, alright. I'll give you some healing, Arthas. Is that enough to heal him up all the way up? It is, actually. And Kitsune. Of course, being a good team leader, more concerned about their... Uh, more concerned about their well-being than I am. Gonna be something. There we go. A bugger in that central platform, isn't there? In fact, what we could do for this rat shaman is lob a few grenades his way. I think that will see to see to it that he does not cause us any. Future troubles. <laughs> Suck on grenade, rat man. Do you remember the rat king from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? All I recall is that he didn't like anchovies on his pizza. I used to love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, as they were sometimes called. They in my youth. My misspent youth. I was a fan of turtles. Alright, what with... Oh. There we go. Powerball. Let's powerball him. Okay, alright. I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, we're getting a bit weakened. Actually, I don't want to use it on our office yet. Let's hide back here. I can examine you in the privacy of our sewer alley. Uh, 28 and 16. Okay, so our office definitely needs some healing. How many magic points does she have? Not a huge amount. But I think it's going to be worth it. Come on, Kitsune's legs, where is she? Alright, me it is. I don't know if you're going to be so selfless, Kitsune. Completely unlike the fox spirit that I was expecting when I ordered you. Okay, another power ball. It doesn't do a lot of damage considering the amount of time it takes to actually get a spell. So we will just shoot the bugger dead. I think that is actually the simplest route. Well, if he's frozen or if he's hopefully can't die. There we go. Ooh. Oh. No. Oh, woe is me. The red shaman has been defeated, Jake. You are getting good at this. Do you think you are a match for the jester? 
Do you like games as man? How about one where you guess my name? If you return lacking that simple truth, I'm afraid there are no losers. I'll just vaporize you. Ha 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 ha! Sorry, one ha too much. Talk to me about dog, Jesus Spirit. Run and hide, flesh bag. Time is on your side, but nothing is going to save you. Ha 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 ha! And all of you, not so fast, you leave me no time to toy with you, and nevertheless, you are wrong, do not return as foolish as you are. Oh, uh, to hell with you, then. what about this rat? Um, about as useful as we'd expect from a jester spirit, I suppose. Oh, we did it, we did it, we make a great team, don't you think? But, well, I suppose. I better stick with you now, someone has to look after you. Sigh. Oh, Kitsune. Must have been love. But it's over now. They say he commands a lot of power. From what I've heard, someone at the Dark Blade knows where he is. Ooh, Dark Blade. Tell me of it. Ever see how much those vampires hate sunlight? I don't think I've ever met one. They're very dangerous. I wouldn't trust them. Well, thanks, Kitsune, for stating, as they say, the obvious. Lots of karma in that one rat. Lots of new yet on one, that one rat shaman. Who knew it would be so profitable? Uh, let's just check. Right, well now that she is by my side forever. Yes, lucky me. And by the way, I'm not paying her anymore, so I think that does make her my girlfriend. Oh damn, I didn't mean summon spirit. Um, I don't know who I'm even trying to heal now. So, Kitsune, you've got full health. Orifice, you're nearly dead. So I wonder if I can woo Orifice to stay with me forever as well. What are you looking at, Dreckhead? Don't tell me you haven't second thoughts. I like your style with an apostrophe where well, you are an orc, I suppose. Well, with all this karma, I think we need to go back, yes, that's right, to the car yard. Actually, no. You know what? We'll go to the motel, and once I'm in there, I'll rest up, and we can then head to the docks to revisit Dog. We do not fear you now, Gordon. Oh, God! Oh, God! There you are. Ah, let me kill you this time. Don't go any closer. They're not as easy as the ones in Zone 1, are they? Aha. Lovely old tree. Nothing we can activate in this graveyard, okie dokie. Of course, we're out of grenades now, which is a shame. Oh, this peephole assassin had reckoned on the might of Orifice. My Orifice. Yeah, why not? Well, the bed is a bit small for all three of us, I suppose. Good god, that's a lot of karma. Um, what should we put up? Body again? Yeah, alright. Um, magic? The gathering? About skills? Put a firearm up even more, become even dead, more deadly. Um, I know what. We'll we'll round off our leadership by putting that up a bit more. There we go. Uh, 
and on we go. And it seemed they were in there with me, hiding in my closet. And now that we should all have our stocked up spells again... You mess with the wrong shadow runners. So we need to find out more about this dark blade club. Yeah, we got a hell of a lot of karma for that. I'm quite pleased. Hopefully with an increased leadership then we can recruit a larger group as time goes on. It's strange, they seem a lot weaker. Aha! Now I just want to head down here in case we missed anything before. Oh, alright, well, last of my eye, eh? Longhorn Jack, they call me. Talk to me. Talk to me about Seattle. Talk to me about my magic fetish. Talk to me about Dark Blade. Talk to me about nothing. See if I can. Can't get past you either, can we, Longhorn? Right, who is shooting at me? It's amazing, he seems to be firing in a completely different direction and his bullets are still hitting me. Must be the ricochet I'm getting. Hmm. Can't recall if we picked something up there before. the octopus was, but we can kill this massive orc instead and take his money. Which is always a prospect I enjoy. We're practically invulnerable. Too far away? It's within reaching distance. I like to get a bit of new yen, darling. It uh, allows me to buy you those things you like. Nuzzle your fox like here. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm terribly sorry to sneak up on you, darling. I'm guessing he just came back from his watch. Really, they're being terribly brute to Kitsumi, aren't they? And what's more, they keep shooting at her in particular. There's another enemy somewhere around. Uh, Kitsumi, I suggest you do some healing on yourself. Was it this one? Yes. Hey, doggy. You have done well. You have served Ho Chin Kha. You have claimed the world of an enemy. Dog takes you as his own. From this time on, you will travel with Ho Chin Kha at your side. Jake, you are in truth a shaman. Follow your calling. You will know it has to be true. Technology has been thrust upon you. You are fated to use it to destroy your nemesis. Tell me about Darkblade. Children besotted by the evil path. They spew blood, but only the one who leads them drinks. He's a dark child, a vampire, but where? Okay, well, guide me to my destiny then. Just a spirit. A powerful enemy. He toys with you. He is a spirit of technology and decay. Find such a place and you will have found his lair. Recite his true name and you will have bound him to your will. Ah, interesting. 
I'll tell you what's hidden in the mist. My magic fetish. Nope, nope, nothing about that either. Okay, I feel like this is breaking down a bit. Come on, dog. Stimulate me here. Tell me about vampires. Duh. Talismans? Oh, uh, that a spell. Okay. So to cast freeze, I will need the residue of two sea creatures. So now I also have to put up my levels in different spells like I was with healing. That's a bit of a pain. I suppose we could just hit uh, higher mages. Thank you, Katsuni. Longhorn Jack. We need to know how to get past you. So I'm gonna go through every damn option. Oh! Yes, yeah, we've done that one. You must serve a purpose, Jack. Although, you know what? I think the, um... What I like about this game is that there are lots and lots of civilians that do actually mean absolutely nothing. And they serve absolutely no purpose, because after all, that's real life, isn't it? In a role-playing game, you used to be able to go up to anyone and they'll give you a quest or give you some information. And of course, yeah, in real life, that's not going to happen. I want to get down to your dock platform, Longhorn. If you stand in my way, I swear to you, I will... Well, be bloody upset. We'll be back, Jack. I see a boat down there, and I want it. If anyone knows where I can get the other part of Sea Creature, because I've already got the bottle of Optimus Ink. So that would be one. I presume it would be something Longhorn Jack is protecting, but I don't know how to get past him. We need to expand our group a little, but also we need some better armor. I'm half tempted to go back to zone 2 to pick up some more grenades and buy the other thing that the guy in the talisman store was selling. There's a lot of stake for dealing with vampires. Now we need to go around the night clubs out here again and ask some more questions. What do you think, Kitsune? Yep, I'm used to you being silent. You prefer that I seek my own counsel, knowing that I know the true path. I understand. Stand back, Kitsune! No! Don't do it! Oh, well, we're all wrong. For some reason, Kitsune decided to travel in another carriage that night. I couldn't tell why. Something about the way the diodes on my head were blinking in a rather, shall we say, unpleasant manner. I suppose there's less and less necessity for slap patches the more healing spells you have. Shame that your shadow runners don't level up as well, though, isn't it? But I do think, given the cost of hiring them, it does seem to only be worth taking them if you know you're about to go and do something 
uh, potentially deadly like we did with the Rat Shaman. Come on, round the corner, there we go. Through the door, and this one. I still want this one to buy. A blue and purple people battle. Uh, as, a, as a chappy, you might be able to tell us about Dark Blade. Ah, they be... Oh, they be very evil. They speak many untruths. You must, you best beware. If you must contact them, I will help you. Their number is 82661, but you have been warned. Ooh, okay. Creatures of the night fear little except for a stick of wood. There's no phone in here, but I believe there is one in that nightclub around the corner. So that is where we shall go. It's a shame you can't sprint, isn't it? And there we go. So, where... Oh, there isn't a phone in this one. Damn it, what kind of bar is this? Okay, back to zone three. Oh, and I just walked straight into a pillar. And through we go. Excellent. So, Kitsune, well, while you've sat on the other side of the uh, the, the road, I mean, you know, this this seat can take two, especially one with... Oh, that doesn't have a tail rest, I see. You know what? They may have made lots of changes in Seattle, so the stairs collapse down to become ramps for the disabled residents, such as these, uh, but they still haven't made trains accommodating to the tails of humanoid foxes, and I think that's a great injustice, personally. And this is the guy responsible, head of the council himself, Brett the Hitman Hart. I don't know where I'm going with this, but roll with it. I'm still trying to recall why I took out the rust stilettos. You don't want to go in there. Wastelands. Why doesn't she want to go in there? I suppose, well, if she works at night by half the time, she might be a bit sick of it. Hi, Dwarf. Ah, that's Norman. I've had him recommended for her. 1500. Just, just scouting these people out. There's Ander again. Sounds weird. A hundred. Just because I'm an old don't mean I'm dumb. One thousand. Alright, well. That's the guy behind the bar. Yeah, they hold up some club they have on the outskirts of town. Are you sure you want to mess with vampires? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. Well, thanks for nothing. A nightclub on the outskirts of town. That's what I was getting from this dark blade thing. We need to ask around other nightclubs, I guess. And let's actually have a look at this bottle that we've just shelled our money out for. The black bottle is now 
filled with incubus ink. Yeah, I suppose it would have been. And what was the other one? Potion bottles. Blue bottle is empty, the purple bottle is empty. Well, up to the north is just Rust Stiletto territory, and we've already cleared that out, so we really don't need to go up there. What do you think, Petunia? Yep, I thought so as well. You say more in Icewind Dale, a game in which you're not even supposed to be from. This man! He does hate the, um, what are they called? What 